What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to Fitness Friday. I'm sitting here in this lovely, lovely, wonderful weather. We've had a cool front kind of come in through Texas, aka it's less than 80 degrees every day, uh, except for the afternoons. It gets a little bit warmer in the afternoon, but I just wanted to give you guys a little fitness update on how things are going since I stopped my prep, since I updated y'all on my uh, my emotional video a couple weeks ago. Again, thank you to everybody that posted just encouragement and love and support. It was really, really amazing to see that. If you guys are new to the channel, I've been posting honest and real updates on here since since I started it. That's part of the reason why I started YouTube is because I want to show all aspects of my life and my health and fitness journey. And then whenever we moved to the RV here, um, we let y'all know that we wanted to show all aspects of our RV journey as well. And so that's why y'all saw some, some pretty honest and raw videos and updates from us. So it's, it's amazing to have the support and encouragement and it just further validated my, my decision to stop the prep and to just kind of step outside of the fitness realm. Um, because I do online coaching, uh, I, I help people with health and fitness in their own way. So a lot of the time I put a lot of pressure on myself to uphold an image that I think I have to uphold. Um, because being on social media, it's it's like surrounding yourself with fitness magazines at all times. So constantly I see pictures and videos of women that are very, very lean and I start to tell myself that I need to look that way in order to be a credible coach when really it's almost the opposite. You know, where I'm at now mentally and physically is healthier, stronger, and more sure of myself than I ever have been, ever. And that's what I want to help other people find. That's what I want clients to reach. I don't really give a crud if they see their six pack abs or not ever in their life because I know firsthand that it doesn't mean that you're healthy. Um, <laughs> I don't think that guy cares <laughs> what I look like. As long as I'm, I'm feeling good and performing and enjoying life and food and everything like that, that's the biggest thing. And so a lot of the time, whenever we put pressure on ourselves to look a certain way, all of those things fall to the wayside. Um, food isn't as enjoyable whenever you have to be on point with certain aspects of nutrition, depending on the diet approach that you're following. Or in my case, um, when I had to adhere to a certain protein, carb, fat, and calorie goal every single day. Um, granted, there is a good balance that you can find with that, but when I was prepping for a show, you can't really have that balance. Since I updated you guys last, or I guess since the, the prep. Um, it's Friday, October 19th, I believe, when you guys will be watching this. And my fitness photo shoot is on Tuesday. It's on the 24th, so that's gonna be in a few days. I'm not dieting any longer. Um, I, I have not been putting immense pressure on myself to, to look a certain way for it because I want to show my body right now and, and how it feels in this moment and show what it looks like when I feel my absolute best mentally and physically. Um, yes, I carry a little bit more body fat than, than I previously did when I was dieting, but I'm also not um, I'm not restricted with my intake I'm not doing as much cardio like there's there's a give and take with all of it um, and granted that's not to discredit the work that goes into something like prepping for a show or people that do diet intensively for a certain date or photo shoot or things like that um, because there can be a time and place for it but again if it if it's at the risk of your life social like all of that um, really what what good is it you know I'll take a little bit extra body fat right now for the sake of my mental health that's that's kind of where I'm at as far as my nutrition goes I've just been following what's known as intuitive eating if you guys aren't familiar with it I do have a few videos talking about it back before uh, when this was just a fitness channel so you can search intuitive eating on this channel and you'll find a few um, chats about it but essentially what it is is just eating normally 
typically if if you're a person that's never really dieted in your life you probably intuitively eat on a daily basis without even noticing it but you probably know somebody in your life that has told you I wish I could eat the way that you eat because we spend so many years dieting we get out of tune with our body's true hunger that feeling of hey I'm a little bit hungry I'm gonna eat some food and then whenever you're eating you think hey I'm pretty satisfied I'm gonna stop not that mentality I need to eat all of this for so-and-so reason or I want that donut but I'm not at all hungry but I'm gonna eat it anyway and then I'm gonna proceed to eat three or four more because I know that I don't normally get it because I'm on a diet so intuitive eating is essentially just eating when you're hungry stopping when you're full I've been doing that for about two weeks and I mean I'm not gonna lie I've had a few days that I don't eat intuitively. I mean, more often than not, I'm, I'm still getting back in tune with my body's hunger because after a certain amount of dieting and being restricted, you do get out of tune with your hunger because I had to hit a certain macro point, protein, carbs, and fats. I didn't really, if I wasn't hungry, but I still had some food to eat, I would eat it. Um, if I was hungry, but I didn't have a whole lot of food left for the day, I wouldn't eat and so it goes pretty much against everything that our body is designed to do and so years and years of dieting can completely screw up our intuition of what hunger truly is so I'm trying to get back into tune with eating listening to my hunger cues and actually eating what I enjoy um, which I've always done and just in amounts that are good for me at this time so I'm doing that and then my workouts have changed a bit too. Like I said, I'm doing a little bit less cardio, but I really wanted to focus more on getting better at climbing. Still getting stronger with my main lifts as always, but I wanna focus more on performance in general. So just overall functionality. Um, whenever I train for a bodybuilding show, you tend to get divisive in your training so you focus on lifting as one thing and so you lift and you rest and you lift and you rest and then you focus on cardio as another because these are tools to help you get to the stage but you separate them so much and for so long that you forget what activity and exercise actually can look like so outside of the gym it's like you you look cool and you look like you could do some really neat and athletic things but a lot of time you can't because you know how to lift um not necessarily something about like working on performance um so i my coach and i have um, changed up my training schedule to focus more on um, being explosive and actually performing and actually putting muscle to use so I don't just look like I can perform I'm going to perform um, so as you can see from some of these workouts that I've been overlaying it's a lot more explosive work so a lot more plyometric type of work jump training um, circuits where I don't rest in between and I go from one exercise to the next so I keep my heart rate up so I work on muscular endurance as well as my cardiovascular capacity um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I actually, I played sports on and off growing up. I wasn't the most athletic child, but I played volleyball. I was in tennis in high school and I love tennis, but we used to do a lot of drills for training. Um, a lot of endurance work, a lot of sprint training because I mean, a tennis court is only so big, but you need to get there fast. So we did a lot of sprint work. Um, so I've been focusing more on that type of training and I freaking love it. It's It's been really, really fun. Just getting out of my comfort zone and changing things up. And that's what I recommend to people in general. Is if you are getting tired of what you're doing right now, um, and it doesn't just have to be in, in regards to fitness, but if you're getting tired of where you're at right now, change things up and find a way that you can enjoy it because it's not gonna be sustainable if you don't enjoy it. And not that I wasn't enjoying my, my bodybuilding training, but it, it was just getting kind of tedious and mundane. And so doing this more lately, it's kind of relit that fire for me. And it's got me thinking in other, how I can stay active in other ways outside of just the gym, because my job itself is very stationary. I'm on a computer. I could be on a computer for hours and hours at a time without even getting up. Like today, 
I'm gonna shame myself. I've had I've I've hit 1,000 steps for the day, and it's two o'clock in the afternoon. So I need to think outside of the box in terms of my daily activity. I've been taking the dogs for walks. Um, I've been just doing more. And Matt and I, now that the weather is finally cooler and now that we are, he's gonna be back um, mentally and physically after the music festival, um, we're gonna start doing more outside together. And I'm really excited. I actually, I haven't mentioned this to him yet, but I really wanna get back into playing tennis because he played in high school too. And I loved playing with him. Whenever we first started dating, we would go play tennis like at least twice a week. Um, and he's 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 not bad, he's, he's not bad. And so I'd really like to get back into playing tennis because tennis was so much fun. Maybe get into some type of um, adult tennis league or find some pickup games somewhere. Heck, if we're traveling and we meet up with any of you guys, if y'all play tennis, I would love to play with y'all. Uh, but we do need to get our rackets restrung because Matt slices the ball and he broke the strings on two out of our three rackets. So um, anyways, so I wanna get back to that. So things have been going really well in terms of my health and fitness journey and just mentally I feel a lot more clear. And although it does kind of bum me out that I couldn't follow through with this goal right now, I know that in terms of my long-term health, it's gonna be the absolute best thing. Um, it's, it's a very fine line to walk along when you get into bodybuilding. Um, and I definitely know that I, I do want to compete again at some point, but as of right now, it's just not in the cards for me. And where my body was at physically when I started the prep, I could start out a lot better. Um, so that's the update. You know, that's about it for now. <laughs> uh, I, just, I keep looking around because it's just so beautiful out here. Like it's, it's very just therapeutic just sitting outside and listening. And I love where we live. I love it. It's so calm out here. So you guys wonder, you know, when we're not traveling, like, or why we're not traveling, we really don't have a bad setup here. So I don't mind that much. Um, but hopefully we will be traveling very soon. And then we will have another vlog on Monday. Um, I'm, I'm getting back into filming and editing our normal Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos. So you guys stay tuned for those. If y'all have any topic requests or if there's any questions that you guys would like to see us answer in a future video or um, video video requests, uh, any type of videos, we still have the finance video that we need to film. Uh, it's just been crazy week trying to get back into a normal schedule and I'm trying to get Matt rested. Um, I'm, I'm forcing him to sleep in and I'm trying to get him to bed early so that he can catch up on sleep because it's been, it's, I can't even imagine how tired he is after the last two weeks. It's just been brutal, but he works really hard and I appreciate him so much. He's amazing. Anyway, um, I'm going to close out this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed the footage and I hope you all enjoy these updates um, for Fitness Fridays. If you guys do want to see these videos every single Friday, fitness update, workout videos, things of that sort. If you do want to see those, let me know in the comments below and make sure and hit the thumbs up on the video so I will know to keep doing them for you guys. And then as far as workouts go, if there's anything in particular y'all want to see, uh, any topics y'all would like me to cover for Fitness Friday, I would be more than happy to. So love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see y'all on Monday.